There's a reason people say there's nothing cleaner than a gleaner. And that's been one of the, the key areas that we've focused on over the 100 years is bringing in that high quality bin sample without a lot of grain damage. It's always been the backbone of what we've talked about for years and years. What makes Gleaner unique is this transverse rotor. Essentially we call that natural flow crop feed. Very versatile from one crop to the next and high capacity. So this unique concept, unlike any other combine, is what makes a Gleaner a Gleaner. So the natural flow processor is what sets the Gleaner apart from the competition. Once the crop enters into the front of the combine, it never changes direction. It flows through the machine, which keeps everything running smooth. I like to think of it as a, uh, best describe it as a, as a ribbon. Uh, goes in the front of the combine, uh, feeds up the feeder house, uh, is smooth uh, across the uh, concaves, uh, and then maintains that uh, ribbon type flow through the processor and to the discharge. It is gentle on the crop, giving us a better grain quality, and then allows us to have a cleaner grain sample into the bin. We've recognized that while we've stayed true to the basic design, we've had to make changes to the rotor, to the accelerator rolls, to the cage, to the concaves, all the different components that make up the natural flow system. But we've had to adjust as the crops and the varieties have changed and the higher yielding crops that we're dealing with today. Uh, we can run a 40 foot head on a draper, a 40 foot draper head. We can run a 12 row corn head on a class seven machine about three and a half miles an hour. And if you do the math on that, that's a lot of production from a smaller machine. We typically can do more than competitive machines using less, especially on fuel, because if, if anything shows us in the last couple of years, fuel prices are not something that you can rely on. We need to continue to push the envelope of capacity and performance while using less from our operator and less inputs. So as we continue to develop the Gleaner of the future, and we work on higher capacities, we won't sacrifice the things that make a gleaner a gleaner, and that's our high quality bin samples and our low loss levels. We're building on the proud heritage of what has been built before us, but we're continuing to innovate and adapt this machine for today's farmers' needs. Today's farmers and custom harvesters have high expectations for combine performance. It takes more than nostalgia and family traditions for them to choose gleaner, although that helps. My name is Skip Mead. I'm a third generation farmer out of Dayton, Washington. We have uh, always been diehard gleaner, and I, I guess it came from blood first and common sense later. My first memories were AH combines, all the way through the C's, G's, M's, uh, N series, on up to the R series, on up to the 72s, 75s, 76s and now have a Super 88, which we adore. The least expensive combine to operate and to overhaul. Clint Wilson with yeah. Wilson Harveston. Oh, we've been in it. My dad started in 1956, so we've been harvesting since then. We start in Texas, the top of Texas there, Vernon. We go all the way to Haver, Montana. We started out with John Deere's. Last year, we went from John Deere back to Gleaner. We done almost with the five combines as we was doing with seven John Deere's. Like what's your savings on fuel comparatively? Mm, you gotta, gotta run 12 percent really? less fuel a day. My name is Garrett Warren. With our Gleaner S98 combine we cut the national wheat yield contest winner 166 bushels per acre. The way the gleaner is designed with the transverse rotor, the crop all feeds naturally into it. And the other competitors where it turns it different ways, you have more moving parts and and higher wear areas in, in the competitors where the gleaners, it's just, it's all the natural flow of the crop. And so that translates into uh, lower operating costs. As a farmer that's run gleaners for as long as I can remember, and an employee of Agco focused on gleaner combines for the last 18 years. 
What I'd love to tell that younger generation is to give us a chance. Because Gleaner goes to the field and punches outside of its weight class in efficiency, in performance, in low loss levels, in logistics. Give us a chance in your field because I think we're going to win. And we're just getting going. We are thrilled to be able to celebrate 100 years of proud history of the Gleaner Combine. It's not only the backbone of our company, but it's really an important contributor to the agricultural industry. On this very special moment, where we're celebrating 100 years of proud history with our Gleaner business, I'd like to send a special message to all of our Gleaner customers, fans, and dealers. Go Gleaner! <laughs>